sweat drawing off my massive forehead. I keep on stealing the girlfriend's drinks. I'm Welcome back everyone. We got a new segment for you. It's called Crocs and Socks Customs. We're gonna be fabricating and building and nothing but Crocs and Socks. Okay, well, we're gonna have clothes on, but if you wanna see Crocs and Socks Customs without the clothes on, you're gonna have to hit up my OF. But we are building a go-kart for the nephew and it's gonna be a doozy. Life started out for this goat cart as a two-seater, one-wheel peel, and it had a cage on it. Um, had a couple broken welds on the cage, and the steering wheel was very, very close to the sidebar. So what I decided to do is we're going to make this a live axle, so solid axle, two-wheel drive in the back, one-seater, so we already went ahead, moved the steering wheel into the center. I still have to fully weld everything, but we got the live axle tacked in the back there, the original engine plate off of the cart, and we are going to make this have no roll cage, single-seater, and live axle. So it's going to have drum brakes, it's got the cart wheels and tires on it, and it's gonna get a Predator 212 on it. So this is for my nine year old nephew. So I actually have a better condition Predator up, uh, up camp. So we're gonna be getting that this weekend, putting it on here, but we're gonna take you on the journey. We're gonna be doing Crocs and Socks Customs. So I'll be grinding, welding, fabricating, all in Crocs and Socks and I'm gonna take you guys along for the adventure. I am fighting the humidity. As you can see, the sweat drawing off my massive forehead. Uh, but let's get to it. All right, we're working with the Titanium Unlimited 200 multi-processing welder. And after about eight or nine years at working in a welding fabrication shop, I have finally got bottles for at home, but we got a fairly new 10 pound roll of flux core. So we are running flux core until uh, we run out of welding wire. So we got the crocs and socks on. Let's start welding. All right, probably one of the sketchiest things you could do is get a wire wheel on an angle grinder and shorts. So let's have at it. We got the extremely, extremely crusty Chicago Electric Leather Harbor Freight Special Welding Helmet. goes breaker number one sounds like I'm running a little bit too much wire speed too oh, I need upgraded electric in the garage so bad it also seems like whenever it runs happy it doesn't trip the breaker as much and I unplugged the grinder sweating over here remember when you're rolling flux core, you gotta get rid of that slag before you start welding again. Go ahead, roast me. I don't care. So we just got some CAD going on here. Cardboard aided design for some gussets for the steering column. And we'll get these cut out and weld it in.
just got these little brackets made up we're gonna weld them in there and the steering column is done All right, got the new Hercules brushless uh, 20 volt lithium ion impact driver. Um, not sponsored by them, but I'm enjoying this one. So Harbor Freight, if you're watching this, sponsor me, please. This is kind of what we got going on here. We're doing the tie rods and I had this one section of tubing, which apparently I'm way off as we cut the tie rods we got the steering shaft set up right in the center and we're going to go ahead and weld the tubing to the original tie rods and then we're going to have steering although i just noticed something look at this pitman arm and then look at that Pittman arm. I got a piece of scrap steel in here so that way the spindle can't uh, mess up the wheel. Got a big old cheater bar here and we'll see if we can straighten this out. And it looks like it's just bending it upwards. I'll bend it back down and See, the go-kart chassis kind of wants to, oh, jeez, kind of wants to twist on me, so I'm trying to hold the, hold the chassis while bent. All right, that's not working. Huh? It worked a little bit. All right, I was able to do some grunting and a little help from my little llama down there, and I was able to straighten it out fairly decent so we'll get the tie rods together weld them up then we'll have a rolling chassis got them tacked on but here's the perks of having a garage that's messy as crap and not picking up after yourself just step on this almost full tube of red rtv and busted a hole in the bottom there goes like ten dollars on the grain so the original uh, pedals were mounted right on these tubes. So this tube and this tube. But that was whenever this was left hand drive so we converted it to center drive. We need to make new pedal pedestals or perches or mounts, whatever you wanna call them. So I made up two of these three quarter inch tube, put a little fish mount on them so they fit on there nice and good. And what we'll do is we're gonna take this put it directly on the tube, line it up with the old tube, and shove the pencil in there and get us a hole line up so that way it's factory location. We'll drill both these out, get them welded on, and install the pedals, and then we have to work about brakes, throttle, and then I gotta make a custom seat. That's right, use the crock as a jack stand. Sharing and caring is vital, ladies and gentlemen. I keep on stealing the girlfriend's drinks. I'm all out of beverages. We got the pedal mounts. Oh, there's some water on there. We got the pedal mounts all clamped up, getting ready to weld. Right there is the aftermath of wearing Crocs with socks and shorts while using a grinder with a wire wheel. Well, this thing's pretty much good enough as it is. Uh, we're gonna start laying some paint on it.
Day 697, working on the go-kart. We got the long socks today. The lost llama is still not found, but we're getting the go-kart together. We got the front wheels on, got to put the tie rods on. I got the cushions made for the seat, so I'm going to have to attach them to the seat pan. We're going to start working on the rear axle right now. Alright, the finale of the first episodes of Crocs and Socks Customs. We got the nephew's go-kart ready to ride, finished as it's going to be. We're missing a couple little things like an air filter. I lost the choke because this little setup is a little bit janky, but we got the brakes hooked up. We got the kill switch and the final panel. We got the seat on there. We got the chain guard because as you can see it was already splashing all the oil on the back there so the nephew's coming up today so hopefully he likes it we'll get you some shots of him riding it later on there you have it All right, that's the first episode of Crocs and Socks Customs. Went ahead and built the nephew a go-kart. Did a whole bunch of modifications, doing welding, grinding, fabrication, drilling, painting, uh, upholstery work in Crocs and Socks. And um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what I could do to improve, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. But until next time, unfortunately, RAP, Mr. Llama, he is gone and forgotten, never forgotten. Um, have no idea what happened to him. He went missing one of these episodes, and I haven't been able to find him or replace him, Mr. Llama. All right, guys, until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.